The pharynx protector included in the Provox Vega puncture set is not being used during secondary puncture. Choose an instrument, for example a rigid endoscope, which can function as a protector during the puncture procedure, a guide for the correct puncture location, and facilitate a safe passage of the guide wire. Introduce the instrument into the esophagus. Verify the correct location of the instrument by palpating the trachea at the attended puncture site. Insert the puncture needle until the tip of the needle reaches the inside wall of the instrument. Insert the guide wire into the puncture needle. Push the guide wire through the instrument until it extends approximately 20 centimeters out through the distal end of the instrument. Always verify that the guide wire comes out through the lumen of the instrument. Otherwise, there is a risk for submucosal damage and the procedure needs to be restarted. Remove the puncture needle, then remove the instrument. Only the guide wire should remain in situ before continuing. Due to the risk for damaging the esophageal tissue, do not remove the instrument prior to needle removal. Insert the guide wire into the puncture dilator and push the guide wire until it extends approximately 10 centimeters through the dilator exit hole. Grab the tip of the guide wire and insert it into the hole next to the exit hole of the puncture dilator. Tighten the guide wire and verify that it is secured to the puncture dilator. Dilate the puncture site by carefully pulling the guide wire until the dilator has passed the puncture site. During dilatation, support the TE tissue to reduce dilatation force. For better control, firmly grasp the guide wire close to the puncture dilator. Carefully pull the guide wire until the tracheal flange of the voice prosthesis is unfolded in the trachea by the dilator loop. Turn the prosthesis in the correct position and cut the safety strap. The secondary placement of the voice prosthesis is complete.